I'm making this raw veggie bouillon that I'm going to use to flavor some other dishes. So you can either end up refrigerating it, or I'll also show you how to freeze it in small portions. I'll be using this in a raw cauliflower dish and also in a veggie bowl, and I will um, link to those at the end of this video. Or maybe even now. I have several chopped vegetables for this, so and I've already pre-chopped them, so you didn't have to watch me. I have four celery stalks. I scrub the celery stalks, trimmed off the ends, and then I cut them into one-inch pieces. Then I have three carrots. I also scrubbed those, trimmed off the ends. I actually peeled the carrots and cut them into one-inch pieces, and then I have half of a uh, white onion, if you like Vidalia onions, sweet onions, that's fine. Put that in here. And then I also have one shallot, if you're new to cooking. Sorry, I already chopped this up, but if you're not sure what a shallot is, just ask at your grocery store. I cut that into big pieces. Then I have a quarter cup of um, the sun-dried tomatoes. Now the ones that I bought are from Trader Joe's. They come in a package and they are already trimmed in these little pieces. A lot of times they're more of the size of a quarter, even a little bigger than a quarter. So if they, if you get the big ones, just cut them a couple times even with kitchen shears. So a quarter cup of those. And now for those of you who are new to cooking, I'm going to show you how to use a leek. L-E-E-K. And I'll show you that right now. The leek looks like this, and obviously we're not going to use the whole thing. It looks like a gigantic green onion. So I've already rinsed it, but after I chop it, I'm going to rinse it again because a lot of times leeks grow in sandy soil and they get some um, sandiness. And actually, this one actually looks pretty good. Um, it doesn't have much sand, any sand in it. But always check. Sometimes there's just too much sand in them. And I'm going to chop off a lot of this. You'll notice this part tends to be a little bit green. Actually I'm going to cut off even more and get rid of it. And then I'm going to chop this much and this is what I'm going to use. It's like one ginormous onion. These are great in soups. And then I'm going to put this into the food processor. So now I have my uh, the leeks over here and all of that into my food processor, and now we're ready to process. It's a lot more than I thought it would be. You can stop it every now and then to mash it down. And make sure that the big pieces get in there. I could have also done half of this at one time. Of course, we're not making a puree. We're just getting them to be really, really fine. Like and then stop it every now and then. And take a look. Take your... Um, I use the tool that came with the uh, Food processor. I still have some chunks in here of carrot in that. So if it gets to be too much, I might take out some of the already chopped. Let's see. Okay, I don't want this to puree, so I'm going to get a bowl in a moment. I'm just going to scoop some of this out that's ready just to get it out of the way so that I can finish chopping some of this. Some of it is just, some of it at the bottom is just getting a little too mushy. batteries ran out of juice. <laughs> I took more out and then I didn't notice and then I turned this on and um, I watched one piece of carrot kept playing around with the blades. 
So now I'm going to put all of it into a bowl and we'll put in some, um, two more ingredients. So I'm going to put all of this into a bowl while the dog barks. Great. And I'll use this scraper. And if there are any big pieces, just take them out and get rid of them. And then next, we're going to add Bragg's liquid aminos, and we're doing two tablespoons. And this now looks like this. And then salt. And because this is a bouillon, you want it to be pretty salty. So I'm starting with about two tablespoons plus maybe a teaspoon. And if you want more, you can taste it and put more. That's the whole purpose of a bouillon is that it's going to flavor something else. So from here, after stirring this up, if I want it fresh, I'm just going to put it in a Tupperware type container. But I can also freeze it and I want to show you an idea for how to freeze this. And, um, ice cube trays. I have an ice cube tray here and each of these little ice cube tray ice cube spots holds two tablespoons of liquid or one ounce and I've spread some of this um, bouillon into each and what I'll do is I'll freeze it but once they're frozen I'll pop them out of this tray and put them into a freezer bag and then just remember that each one is two tablespoons. But make sure to, I'm also keeping, here's my bowl, I'm also going to keep some of that fresh in a Tupperware container and check um, the link to other recipes. So I'm going to do a raw cauliflower with veggie bouillon uh, video next. Um, hopefully I'll put them all up at the same time. But also using this, I'm going to do one that's um, a veggie bowl that uses some of this um, bouillon as well. So, and in those I'll be using about a quarter cup or so, depending on the taste. Alright, so that's how you make raw veggie bouillon.